I want to do this video today to compare and contrast uh, the three picks that I've been using lately. Um, my tried and true that I've been using for a long time is the Dunlop Jazz 3, uh, like the John Petrucci version. It's really smooth on the edge, but has a nice point. And this is what I've been playing with for quite a while um, after exploring picks when I started playing. Uh, it's 1.4 millimeters thick, I think. So it's nice for lead, and uh, if you choke up on it, it's great for rhythm too. And you can see that this one's brand new. Uh, this one here has about 30 hours on it, and you can see the edge wears out. Not bad, but it definitely breaks down. And if you compare it to the other one, you can see how the point really gets knocked off. And once that happens, it, it's not too much fun to play with. Once it gets to about this point, I'm ditching it. So uh, a lot of YouTubers have been reviewing these master picks. Oh, and by the way, you can get these Petrucci's for uh, six of them for like six bucks. So they're about a buck a pick. Um, these master picks are cool because they have a plastic pattern on both sides that's almost rubbery. So it gives you a really good grip. It won't slide around on you. It has a nice tip on it. Uh, you can see these are 1.2 millimeters. And this one has about 30 hours on it as well. Much less wear than the Petrucci. Um, I actually like the way this pick feels and the attack much better, but it has a really shrill high tone to it. Um, the Petrucci has what I would consider a normal, maybe to a little bit warm tone. Uh, this pick is very shrill. So although I like the way it feels and I like the way it wears, it just doesn't uh, give me the sound I want. So recently I ran into Bog Street picks, and this is the Bog Street Mini Beast. It is amazing. It has three sides, they're all exactly the same. I think again, it's 1.2 or 1.4 millimeters thick. And this hole and elevated areas here just give you this solid grip. It doesn't move at all. It actually amazed me how much relaxing my pick hand, because I don't have to squeeze this at all, made my fretting hand so much easier to pull off hard things. So it actually relaxed both my hands. And this one's kind of neat because you can see I've been playing the heck out of this side. This is about 30 hours. And although you can see it's worn, it lost a little bit of the point, but overall the same shape is there. So I don't even really notice that this is worn in, even though it's about 30 hours, I've got the crap beat out of it. And this one here has only about 10 hours on it. And this one's still brand new, I haven't touched that side. So when you look at these picks, they seem like they'd be a little bit more expensive. They're actually $20 for six or $30 for 12. When you think about it, you're getting three picks for each one. So really they're about a buck pick, so they're about the same as the Bertrucci. Uh, but I thought I'd give this video a whirl because there's not really any videos showing um, this Bog Street pick and it's fantastic. Uh, so shout out to the guys at Bog Street and hope you guys found this helpful.